should not relax our efforts and commitment towards preventing and ending HIV AIDS. We need to guard against reversal of these gains made and ensure that we remain on course to end AIDS as a public health in Uganda by 2030. I take this opportunity to thank the people living with HIV AIDS who have been the face for, of this epidemic. We resolve, uh, your resolve, and that is the people living with HIV AIDS, to live positively and the commitment to ending HIV AIDS infection is very critical for Uganda to end HIV AIDS. Government is appreciative of To further call upon all of you stakeholders to keep up the commitment towards preventing and ending HIV AIDS. Let us maintain the high level political commitment and action enhanced community mobilization and engagement for social and behavior change, respect for girls, uh, respect in rights, respect and, uh, for the rights of people living with HIV AIDS and other vulnerable populations. I would like to thank all stakeholders for maintaining the effort in fighting HIV despite the negative efforts that were caused by the lockdown due to COVID-19. This especially caused disruption to the people living with HIV AIDS in accessing care and treatment. However, the commitment and support from the various stakeholders enabled us to wade through this challenge. Powerful platform for community mobilization as we pursue the presidential first work initiative to ending HIV AIDS as a public health in Uganda by 2030. We are all aware that in 2017, the president launched the presidential first work initiative to ending HIV AIDS. And um, as uh, the ministry in charge of Uganda AIDS Commission, we traverse the whole country in the launch, and these launches were regional. We traversed all the regions in launch, in energizing, and in directing the efforts to fighting HIV AIDS and uh, ensuring that uh, it come to an end by 2013. Our World AIDS Day national theme this year is national solidarity and a shared responsibility towards ending AIDS. With the 20, uh, 2030 target of ending HIV AIDS, it is uh, critical for everyone to reflect on their individual and collective responsibility towards ending HIV AIDS in Uganda. Uganda has made a lot of progress in responding to the burden of HIV and AIDS over the last four decades. The HIV prevalence rates in the general population have been reduced from about 18% in the 1990s down to the current 6%. Uganda is ranked among the 14 countries globally to have achieved the UN 8 second and third target. That is the 90% of people living with HIV AIDS being put on treatment and the 90% of those on treatment being viral suppressed. This progress has positioned Uganda on a track to achieve the ambitious goal of ending AIDS as a public health by 2030. For the World AIDS Day this year, will be carried out scientifically in compliance with the presidential directives on prevention of COVID-19 as well as the standard operating procedures that were issued out by the Ministry of Health. I would like to thank the media fraternity for 
continuing to drive the campaign on HIV and AIDS prevention as well as the campaign against the COVID-19. When COVID-19 came in, the community forgot all about HIV AIDS. We were focusing on only COVID-19, but I want to thank you and the Uganda Aid Commission and other stakeholders for walking the talk, for continuing the fight that has seen Uganda stabilizing. We did not really register. Uh, of course, we had challenges, but uh, we are yet to get a report on how the challenges affected um, the fight against HIV AIDS. Thank you.